Terry. Uh, sorry, again. <laughs> Thank you. Where do you, where do you want on here? Thank you. All right, I'll quickly do this. People can stand right in here. That's fine. First of all, I would I just like to take a moment uh, to thank all the great sponsors uh, that helped make this camp uh, such a huge success. So first of all, um, Audi Boulder for providing transportation, Normatech for providing recovery systems, Castelli for your awesome jerseys. Okay, Tier also, um, New Balance for those great shoes, uh, Goo for how many of you got your Goo? All right. Um, your buds, how many of you are going to be like Rennie and listen to you while you're running? Uh, for your nutrition, uh, Training Peaks, we're going to have a, a free free trial, 30-day trial for all of you for Training Peaks. Uh, Power Cranks, uh, The Feed, Base Performance, Firebright Health, Muscle Sound, and uh, RPM Tooth. Uh, I'd like to have everyone here, please give a round of applause to the sponsors who helped make... All right, so uh, we're going to close this out tonight, the, uh, the, the camp dinner. And what we're going to do is, is I'm really passionate about triathlon, even though I, I'm a recovering triathlete. I like to joke because I'm, I'm too busy uh, running um, my business now to be a triathlete. But um, tri triathlon was a critical part in my own uh, journey in life. Um, triathlon, helped me, tri triathlon helped me to figure out wh what I wanted to do you know, when I grew up, all that time I spent on the bike while I was doing triathlon helped me figure out the next steps of my life after some very intense times in the Army, uh, deployed to Iraq, and um, figuring out what I wanted to do. So um, I'm really, this, the topic for tonight's talk, which I've asked Marinda and Siri to do for all of you guys, is uh, how triathlon can affect the rest of your life. Because I'm a big believer that the way you do triathlon is the way you do your life. And if you're if you're serious about it and you know how to do it the right way, I think it can carry over into all areas of your life. So uh, I'd just like to bring um, Rinda up here, uh, Marinda Carfrey, to come up and talk a little bit about um, when I did a podcast with her and some interviews, I was really struck by the life lessons that she has and her perspective on um, seeing how triathlon is, is such a great vehicle for making everything in your life better. So I'm going to ask Marinda to come up. We're just going to have a short conversation about some of the key lessons that she'd like you guys to take away, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll get into the next part of it. So, Marinda Carfrey, uh, I'd like I'd like everyone to give her a big warm welcome. Come up here. Hey, Rudy. Yeah, let's sit down. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. All right, so. Ready with um, the glass of wine, which is the font of all wisdom from uh, her, her and Siri. Uh, every time, every time they, they get together after a season, the, the season plan comes over a bottle of wine, right? Uh, one bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Just one bottle of wine. Um, so, Marinda, I, you know, I've been struck by how how much you're you're really um, about giving back to the community here, and the favorite part of me watching you interact with all the athletes here is 
um, how much time and energy you gave them uh, during what's a, a critical week in your season, which is a recovery week, which is very valuable time. Mm -hmm. So uh, i just like you to share with the athletes. I know you talked to me about this a little bit, but what was your favorite observation or part of interacting with all the athletes here at the camp? Well, f first of all, I wanted to make sure this week was not a recovery week. So you can blame me for the weather and not being able to stay in Boulder um, and having to stay just outside of Boulder. But um, I wanted to make sure I was present and able to you know, meet each and every one of you and, and have the energy to give to you. you know, throughout the year, it gets crazy in the next few weeks, um, especially leading into Kona. So um, I chose this week so that I could be present and I could meet you guys and hear your stories. And hopefully um, along the way, help you along your journey because everybody in this room, everybody that signed up for this camp, they're on a personal journey. You guys, you wouldn't sign up for a camp like this if you didn't have great goals um, and ambition. And so we're in a room full of winners, really. And um, I wanted to try and be a little part of that journey for you guys. And um, it's been really nice to get to know a bunch of you. And I hope to be able to um, meet you um, at different races throughout the year. Please um, remind me of your names when you come up and don't be offended. <laughs> I, I remember faces. I'm terrible at names. And I, I'm surprised that I remember my own name sometimes. So um, it's been just such a, such a treat to be able to get to know um, you guys and hear your stories. And, um, you know, I, I wish, Siri and I, wish you nothing but the best and, and greatness in your future. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, you guys are all winners already, so I have no doubt that success will, will follow you wherever you go. And, Rini, um, you talked about their hopes and dreams in the sport, and, and everyone here, some have dreams of, of going pro and some have dreams of making it to Kona in their age group, and, and some just want to lose weight or some just want to, you know, have a better uh, lifestyle based on triathlon, and all those are different dreams. But, um, you know, one of the things that really struck me when we did our podcast was was you said that, um, not being afraid of failure. And um, I know, and, and, and I know that when I, when I failed in, in certain parts of my triathlon career, I really got hung up on it. And looking back, um, it's, it's pretty interesting to see how attached I was to the goals. And one of the great things about triathlon research is talking to people like Mark Allen and yourself and Crowe and all the greats in the sport is, is talking about how you shouldn't get so hung up on the result. So talk a little bit about what it means to go for it, put it all on the line, and be okay if you don't make it. I mean, I, honestly, I, I don't know what life is for if you don't have big dreams. You know, so go out there and have amazing dreams. Have dreams that people, you know, might not believe that you can accomplish. But go for it. At least when you're 90 years old and, um, you know, ending your life, you know that you had a crack. You, you know that you actually went out there and tried. If, you know, you don't want to be that person in their, you know, late 90s, 90 or whatever. Hopefully we all last that, that long. Um, that has those what ifs. That's what you don't want in life. And so um, for me, it was always about, well, you know what? If I'm, here is my goal. And yes, there's many things, many reasons why maybe I can't achieve this goal. But what about the reasons why I can? And I've just always kind of said, well, you know what? I'm going to put my all into this and maybe I'm not good enough. But you know what? If I'm not good enough today, then that doesn't mean I'm not going to be good enough tomorrow. And that doesn't mean that I can't continue to try and improve myself as a person and improve myself, you know, more specifically at, on this journey as an athlete. And um, I think, you know, once you let go of those yeah, uh, failures, um, you know, everyone fails in life. They're kind of you, you, the moments you look back on and realize that really shaped me as a person and that made me a better person. Um, so, you know, in my triathlon career, I've, I've definitely had failures and, and certainly early in my sporting career, I wanted to go play in the WNBA and <laughs> I never grew past five foot three. And so that wasn't going to be a reality. So then, you know, I found triathlon and um, all of a sudden doors opened for me and I was on the right path. Um, I certainly still had failures and, and had goals that I didn't, didn't reach um, initially, but you know, I, you know, the famous saying, fall down seven times, get up eight. Um, and um, you know, I'm living proof that you know, if you want it bad enough, it can be yours. Um, you know, they have to be somewhat realistic goals. Obviously, I'm not going to go play in the Super Bowl as QB. I mean, that would be a sweet gig too, but um, 
yeah, I, I really encourage everyone to, you know, set goals and, and go after them. And, and if you fail, then that's okay. At least you tried. I mean, better than not trying and, and, um, and wondering forever. Yeah, and, and Rooney, I, I think that what, I, what I've learned from, you know, watching you and Siri is how special this community is. And, you know, spending a week in Raleigh sports with all of the coaches that have gotten you to the place that you are, um, that was a big move, letting everyone into your environment. Your training squad basically allowed uh, 40 plus triathletes and all the staff and coaches and people like me in there really messing up Raleigh sport for a week. I hope Aaron's here. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and if you're, if you're from Boulder and you train at Raleigh sports, thank you for, uh, you know, being very kind to us, at least to our face. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, being very courteous uh, to us because we, we really were, um, you know, for lack of a better word, a big event mm -hmm. uh, in Raleigh sports this week. Um, what do you, what do you want people to, uh, get out of that and, and and more importantly this squad and the people you surround themselves how have they helped you change the rest of your life you're a very different person as a result of of Siri mm -hmm. and Eni and all the different people um, you know Aaron Carson and Ivan and all the people that influence your career uh, what what is it like to be on this journey with all the people in your squad team Sirius and all the coaches yeah, I mean, a team team serious. I mean, Siri wouldn't take on an athlete that wasn't um, didn't fit our her mold. I want to say our mold, but it's you know, her mold of you know trying to be the greatest you could be. And honestly, you know, throughout this whole journey, um, I think um, likeness attracts. And I've you know stumbled across Aaron Carson. We were you know training at a different gym, and then uh, my husband actually. Um, a friend, a mutual friend suggested we start training with Aaron. And so then we moved over to Rally Sports, started working with Aaron. And that's been such an amazing experience. Um, and it's been really great for me to be able to share with you my team. Um, I don't have anyone that I'm on my team that isn't um, passionate, inspiring. Um, and a, a friend of mine back in Australia used to say, you know, if they're not a help, they're a hindrance. And really, if you know, I hope that I'm giving back to them in so, some way. I don't think I, they would have me around if if I wasn't. But you know, you you want to surround yourself with positive people, and you know, I wanted to share that with all of you guys. Um, you know, if there's anyone in your life that's just bad energy, get rid of them. You you don't need them in your life. There are so many amazing people, and especially in this sport, um, this sport is unique in that. Uh, the pros are accessible to the age groupers. We're on the same course. Uh, we, we're out there battling our own personal journeys, and, and we're able to go to the to the bar for a beer after and talk about that crazy hill or the wind um, on that race day. So that's what this sport's all about: telling battle stories and um, reliving the uh, trials and tribulations um, through triathlon and, and through your know, personal life. But um, you know, I, I think tr this triathlon community is just so great. I'm glad I'm glad to be a part of it, and I was really um, excited to be able to get to know some of some of you guys a little better and, and spend time and um, I hope to be able to see you all at races and um, cheer you on. Well, Rennie, I'm, I'm about to let you introduce, I think, um, you know, <clears throat> probably uh, obviously the most influential person in your triathlon career. Um, but before we bring uh, Siri up here, Rennie, I would just like to uh, present you, as is tradition at triathlon research camps, we do present um, our gift, which is a photograph of all the, the triathletes. Um, can you guys bring up the signed copy of the, uh, of the pictures that we've, we've uh, so what we've done is we have all the athletes have signed a copy of uh, a print of, of a photo that we took um, of our squad. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that to you and Siri, but also I think we have, and I think this is the first time this has happened. We have the athletes just got together and they just wanted to get, buy you guys an extra gift. Um, and I'm gonna let one of the representatives come over uh, who wants to present the extra gift, which is not the official gift of Triathlon Research. So Jonathan, and, and by the way, guys, please give Jonathan uh, Martin here and the rest of our staff a big round of applause for all the work that they did. Um, I, I'm not an easy boss to work for, and I just wanted to thank by name Jonathan, Dennis, uh, Keith, Sean, and all the people who had to deal with my dysfunction 
um, and uh, you know things that they have to clean up for me. So thank, thanks again to Triathlon Research staff. Those guys put a ton of work to make this happen. And uh, any any mistakes are my fault. Please give them uh, a drink tonight for all the hard work that they did. So um, thank you again. So uh, here you go, Rini. And um, Siri, we're going to give you yours when you come up here. But what's the other gift? Where's, where's my? OK. Come on up. Come on up. Just stand here. All right. I'm just going to kind of cede the floor here. You guys stand. Well, Rini, I can't thank, I mean, everybody, I can't thank you Sam. enough. This was just probably the most. <laughs> so I, I thought I, you needed my mic. No. Go ahead. Um, I, probably the most amazing experience most of us may ever have. I mean, there's everybody from the very first time person ever um, who's about to journey on his first Ironman to people who've done many. Um, and it, it's going to change my life. It's mm -hmm. going to change everybody's life. So we wanted to get you something special because we all saw right. you drinking a little wine. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> um, my husband will like this. I'll hide it from Siri, him. Can you come on? Please. We just want to thank you, for all of us, just a little something extra, just to show you mm -hmm. how much we appreciate how accessible you guys have been and just how welcoming you've been. You just brought us into your family. So we all, I'm leaving feeling like I'm part of your family. Awesome. Um, so thank you so very much. Oh, hey. Wait, hug me. Hugs. Yeah, hug 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 I don't want to speak for everyone, but I think we'll all think of you when we kick it in at the end. And kick I it in. Know, I'll think of you when I remove the bottle. Um, oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. we know why. You know why. We want. Thank you. <laughs> what they said and and you know a lot of times with, with things like this and you see them advertising and, and i know a lot of us when, when we register for camp we weren't quite sure what to expect and whatnot and sometimes things like this can be kind of gratuitous you know and and, and clearly this was not um making yourself so accessible uh much like triathlon itself right when we're out there shoulder to shoulder like like Miranda was just saying um but for me as a fan of the sport, and uh, in particular, a fan of, of Marinda's and, and, and Sirius for a number of years, uh, to meet them and find out that they're just such awesome people. Um, incredible, you know, incredible human beings. I mean, the time that we, I've spent with both of them, as I mean, you know, Brenda and I are almost like related, right? Because I was born in Melbourne. Yeah. Right? Oh, so wow. I was like brother and sister. Right? Brother or, from another or mother. Or T.O., you better look out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but anyways, in all seriousness, this is, this is for both of you mm -hmm. to oh share. Ooh. When, Whoa. <laughs> probably, hopefully. Oh <laughs> if, you, if you choose to share it before, I understand. Okay. However, I no, was thinking maybe after. sometime around the second Sunday in October. In October. Maybe eleventh of October. Right. Or <laughs> the tenth. Right? So this no, is for oh both my God. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is so nice. Thank you. Wow. That is awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, clearly, you guys think we're alcoholics, yes. <laughs> and you are right. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to move this off the much, stage for guys. the children? And yes. The oh my gosh. So, um, clearly, our secret's out. Yeah. And, and <laughs> but before I exit stage left, I would just like to thank. If I don't know if all of them were able to make it, but uh, Aaron, I know Bobby McGee couldn't make it. Aaron Carson. Eni Jones, Ivan O'Gorman, if you guys are here, uh, the, uh, Rebecca Keith, could you guys just come up so we can all recognize you? We also have a signed photograph for all of the coaches here. So if you guys could come up just so we can acknowledge you guys. Come on up. really was the heart of the camp, Team Sirius, that she uses to, to make her athletes better. You guys can Stand all get in. Stand yeah. Up. yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You guys were awesome. <laughs> they were. Awesome. Everyone was awesome. I'll give you your jeans back tomorrow, Rini. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Ladies and gentlemen, time to move on. I'm going to let you introduce um, our keynote speaker for tonight, and I'll let Rini make a sort of. Um, well, I, uh, this woman clearly needs no introduction. She spent a little bit of time with each and every one of you, and you get it now that you spent some time with her. She is, I don't even have words for uh, the energy, the enthusiasm, the inspiration that she is and has been on my career. I mean, I couldn't have done what I've done without her, and I'm um, looking forward to many more years of working with Siri, but let's, uh, let's bring her up and hear what she has to say. Thank you. It's yeah. Woo. First of all, let me just say that it's people like Rini <clears throat> that bring out the best in me. Um, I feel so blessed that I have the people that I have in my life. Um, I'm nothing special, that's for sure, but the people around me inspire me and make me want to live my life with all my heart. And when you all arrived, um, I was a little bit nervous. Um, but there's one thing I knew that all of you were making this massive commitment to not only spend the money and leave your families, leave your jobs and come out here for a week. I knew that you were a group of really passionate people and nothing makes me more excited than being able to spend time with really passionate people. And I got to meet with all of you individually and I can't even express to you what that's meant to me. I know that it looks like this is our job and, and we come and it's our job to sit down with you and talk, but like all of you just really got to me. And you are all amazing people. Your stories inspire me so, so much. And when I look at all of you and I look at Rinny and I look at Rebecca and the athletes that I coach, I just can't believe that I am so blessed to have the opportunity to, to be surrounded by these people every day of my life. And there is a quote that I, I'm going to have to read it because I got it wrong. And I said it to like five of you and I got it wrong every time. Um, I said it was Thoreau and it was nowhere near Thoreau who said it. But Howard Thurman said, <laughs> sounds like Thoreau, right? I gave the wrong guy credit, but that's okay. Said, so don't ask what the world needs, ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. And every single person that I met with here is alive. And I know that with triathlon, especially, you know, when I was an athlete, I felt really guilty. I felt so selfish that I was like going after my goal and all that mattered was I wanted to be the best that I could be, and I felt really guilty, and that put a lot of pressure on me. When I went to race, it was like, all these people have been like waiting for me and supporting me, and I'm just chasing my dream, and you know, I had to succeed because if I didn't, I was letting them down. But the fact is that what you're doing is not selfish. What you're doing is you have, you're coming alive. You've found something that makes you feel alive and that, that strikes a passion inside your heart. What you're doing is inspiring everyone around you to find out what they dream of and to take, have the courage and not be afraid to do whatever it takes to chase those dreams and to make those dreams come true. And to me, I think that's so incredibly inspiring and this world does need more people like that. And on the other hand, when you are working hard towards achieving your dreams and, and being the best that you can be, you're always going to be better for the people you love around you. I mean, I know when I'm doing the things that I love and feeling good about the fact that I'm doing everything that I can to be the best that I can be, that I'm going to be a better person for my partner, for my athletes, for my mom, for my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and so really, it's not selfish. What you're doing is amazing. And you have all touched me so deeply. And I will remember, I may not remember your names because I, I think I'm kind of getting a little bit of Alzheimer's, but I will remember your faces and I'll remember your stories and I will be waiting to 
hear from you or read about how you made those dreams come true. Because I know with every single one of you, there is not one of you that I, that I doubt will make their dreams come true. I thank you for coming here. I am so proud, so proud to share our family. Like, I can't tell you how proud I am of this one, my partner of, of all the coaches that are here. I mean, Sam and Triathlon Research, you guys have done a wonderful job, but really, it makes me so proud to have invited you into our world and to show you that like being happy and like going after your dreams and putting your heart and soul into stuff like, like that's a great way to live. And it's how she's become great and it's how all of you are gonna become great. And I just wish you all the best. I thank you for coming and I hope you know that we will always have you in our minds and in our hearts and wishing you all the very best and that all your dreams will come true because they will. So keep living and um, don't forget us because we'll be living too. I can say after that and um, with that I would just like to thank all of you again for uh, investing in yourself and uh, your own dreams uh, like like Siri said it's um, whether or not you achieve those dreams you know daring to go after them is going to make you better in every area of your life and and I think that's the important lesson here and, and I, I've just uh, been blessed to watch these amazing professionals uh, coaches um, and and really amazing athletes that you all are uh, come and join us for this week. So uh, thanks again for joining the Boulder camp. Let's let's enjoy the after party for uh, those of you. Paul Phillips has, has put together a slideshow. We're going to play that uh, photo images for those of you watching at home. You can also see that and see what these great athletes have done here. And uh, look forward to seeing all of you guys. Hopefully at another camp inside the Facebook group forever. Keep posting in there, and uh, you know. See you guys wherever we see you. And it's, it's a small community. And if, you, if you're watching at home, we, we definitely want to see you one of these days too. Join the, join the camp family. So thank you very much. And uh, thanks again, guys, for joining us. So. All right, let's have the after party.
the money, two for the honey, three for the show.
Thank you. 